Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is Deformation DF07 Flame Devil. Now I got this from ShowZStore.com for like $34.99. It popped up on their Facebook page while I was scrolling one day and I thought this guy looked really cool and for $34.99, why not? And to be honest, his name cracked me up. I mean, Deformation, you know, a lot of these KO third party figures are called deformation, but this is like the Southern drawl version, you know, the deformation. So I thought that was cool. Plus I've always liked Transmetal 2 Dragon Megatron. So taking a quick look at the packaging, you've got the Flame Devil right here in robot mode, some great looking artwork, more artwork there on the side and this side as well. Back of the box is kinda, almost like a product shot, but done in a artsy style. You don't really have any look at the actual product itself. So now without further ado, let's go ahead and get this packaging open and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get the Flame Devil all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions that is fairly well illustrated. This is actually pictures of the item itself with the transforming sections highlighted in red. This is fairly easy to follow, though it did take me a couple times to figure it out. He also comes with quite a few accessories. He has this reddish flame blast effect that can be used in both robot and dragon mode. He comes with two sets of extra hands. He has these hands right here that are kind of a mid grip. And then he has these splayed open clawed fingers. And I really like these. He also comes with an extra face or actually the nose and lower half of the face. And this one has a maniacal grin on it. And I'll show you how that works later on. Now let's take a closer look at the Flame Devil himself. Now, when I first opened this guy up, oh, well, let you know right off the bat, in packaging, the wings are separate from the figure, but they just peg on. There's mushroom pegs right there. They snap right into place. And uh, when I first got him, I thought maybe they screwed up. I got a bad one because this wing right here, notice there's no screw holes where this one right here, you can see the screws, well not screw holes, the screws themselves. And I thought maybe mine was screwed up and they sent me one that had two right wings. But after doing some research and looking at some stock photos of the guy, this is it. This is how they made him. They didn't make two separate wings. You just took the other right and flipped it around. So this one, no screws. That one has the screws. So, oh well. Now, looking at this guy, he reminds me of a Bionicle figure. He's just very, I don't know, angular and lots and lots of moving parts. 
So we'll get into that more later on. You can always see, also, you can already see, man, I can't talk, how this guy is moving and shifting as I'm messing with him. But he still looks really cool. I love the wings. Now, these are articulated, so you can really splay these wings out, and I think that looks awesome. Now, these wings also hide more weaponry. If you take the top of the wing here and pull straight out, he has a sword, and that is slick. Now, the sword can only be used in the hands that he came attached with, or that he came with. Just peg those in just like so, and of course, he has two of them. Come on, and they are in there tight. Ah, oh, man. So, no worries about those falling off, but look at this. Look how he's, he's went to pieces as I've tried to get those swords out. So get him all stood back up. Now, big complaint with this guy. He is very loose. Lots and lots of ball joints. And I can foresee myself using a lot of floor polish to really tighten this guy up. So go ahead and put those swords in his hands. And there you go. So that looks pretty cool. Not a big fan of translucent plastic, but I like the way this looks. If you get this guy on a shelf with some good light in the background, he's really, really going to pop. Now, let me go ahead and get these swords out, and we'll put those back in the wings so he can look once again at the figure. Now, taking a closer look at the head sculpt, the head is not bad. I like this face. It's a very solemn-looking face, so I dig this. Now, all the stock images show the other face, which I'm not a big fan of. And let me show you how to change out the faces. First off, you got this translucent section on the helmet. You wanna lift this up, and then you just kind of grab the chin, lift up, and you're gonna pop out. You gotta be careful. Yeah, then threw it out. You pop out that little face section. Like I said, you just got the nose and the mouth. Looking right here, you can see there's the eyes, and then you got this little peg that's going to line up to the peg hole in the back of the face plate and these are kind of hard to get a hold of so let me get this grinny face in a lot easier said than done actually when i was transforming this guy the first time i didn't realize that these faces popped off i didn't know there was an extra face in the baggie and i thought damn i broke him already but this, this is a pain. You gotta be very careful to get this in. It's just not, it's hard to get your fingers in. But there we go. I've got his smiley face attached. And like I said, I'm not a big fan of that look. I think he looks a little too jokerish. So let's go ahead and put on, or put back on the regular face. And yeah, you definitely wanna make sure these are stored away so you don't lose them. They are tiny. So let's see if I can get this in there a little easier than the last. Of course, it helps if you don't put it in upside down. There we go. So now we got the regular face back in, and that looks pretty cool. Now let's get into articulation, or the articulation he's supposed to have without all this other moving around. The wings great articulation. Like I said, the feathers can flare out. You've got larger feathers here up top, the smaller feathers here. You can kind of angle these however you want. The wings can go back and forward. You'll see this more in dragon mode. Fold these down, move them out of the way. For the arms, the arms are on a ball joint. You can see right here, you can do a complete 360 if the wings weren't in the way. So you got all the basic articulation that you would have with a ball joint. There's also a rotation right here at the bicep along with a bicep bend. And the left arm here does have the dragon head. So you can position the dragon head up here on the wrist. Or if you want to make him look more Beast Wars accurate, just turn the fist around and lock down the dragon head so now he looks more like his beast wars cartoon counterpart but i think this is really cool how he can mount the dragon head on his forearm we'll go ahead and turn that 
fist back around. He does have waist articulation and it's really loose. You can really spin this around. There is translucent plastic right there as well. The legs, legs can go forward, they can go back. There is a knee bend, there is a rotation at the hip and that's because it's on a ball joint as well. Ankles is, there's a slight ankle tilt. Paint applications, this guy's got great paint applications. Gold there on the knees, gold there on the crotch, a little gold there on the arms, tips of the wings. I, I love the color scheme for this guy. They really did good. Plus he's got like a darker metallic red right there for this little section on the shoulder and down here on the feet. And also these toes, they're articulated as well. So now let's show off the how the accessories work in robot mode. If I can get him to stand up. Now, yes, he does have a hell of a cod piece too. Before anybody mentions it in the comments, it's, it's impressive. So if I can get him to stand up, go ahead and show you how these hands work. These are really simple compared to a lot of figures that have interchangeable hands. They, the hand just pops right off. There's no mushroom peg or anything. It's almost like a, your basic five millimeter peg. Pop the hand off, pop the new one in. So there is the half open hand. Pop this one back out and let's see. We will get the splayed hand right here. This is my favorite. This is how I like to have him pose with this I will conquer the world look. So I dig it. But for transformation, you're going to have to have the closed fist hands attached. Now, as far as the blast effects concern, the blast effect goes in the dragon mouth. So just open the dragon mouth up. You'll see this little port pop out and slide this right in. So now you have Megatron or Flame Devil has a flamethrower on his wrist. But his uh, loose joints, it kind of makes it hard to get a good dramatic pose because it's going to droop. Actually, that doesn't look too bad. So, yeah, that's that's it's it's cool. It's all right. Now, back of the figure back of the figure is a jumbled mess. You've got the dragon tail hanging off the back. You've got these little hip skirts. You've got the chest sections with the dragon claws overhead. You got the waist that keeps popping apart. So, in my opinion, this, this is definitely a figure you're not going to be really playing with. This is one you're just going to have posed on the shelf. And oh yeah, right here on the right arm, he does have this little extra shield piece right there. So that is pretty much it for robot mode. Let's go ahead and get into transformation. And transformation is a little bit difficult at first. Now, what you're going to do, first step, is you're going to take the head and pop it off. And there goes the face. Like I said, I thought I broke this the first time. So I'm going to take this face off and place it to the side. So you're going to pop this section out. You see the little tab right there. Turn the head around and you're going to fold it up into the dragon tail. And just kind of pull that down out of the way. Now what we're going to do is bring the body section up and take the wing section. The wings and this back section are all one piece. So we're going to kind of fold this down out of the way. I get everything extended. There we go. Now we're going to make sure and move these sections down and rotate this around right here because the dragon head needs to be facing forward. And there's a lot of twists and turns you're going to have to do right here to get the dragon head just right. Just like I showed earlier, we're going to take the fist, rotate it, and that way it'll lock into the dragon neck. But we're going to fool with this more later on. Now right here, this gets a little confusing. What you want to do is get the arm folded straight down Let's see, I need to turn this this way and up. 
You're going to fold the arm down, and you need to bring this section right here is going to lock into this little tab right there on the crotch. So get that in like so. So we've got that look going on. Now we need to bring the tail down and get these little hip skirts down and around. This is the section that took me forever to figure out when transforming this flame devil figure. Get the arms out of the way. This probably looks terrible on camera. Don't feel bad. It looks terrible for me too. So we're going to bring this up. And what we want to do, if I can get it to manipulate, there's just so many parts and pieces that just stay in the way. It's just not an easy figure to transform at all. Okay. Like I said, this chest section is the worst piece to try to manipulate. And then you gotta get these little hip skirts up and around and under. Okay, so that is not pleasant. You've gotta get the hip skirts folded around the body of the flame devil here and then clip them together right above this section right here with those little tabs. So once you get that on there, you're good to go. And as you can see, the dragon head popped off during the process, but it is on a ball joint and should be easy to pop back on. Should be. And it normally is when you're trying not to do it on camera. So now we've got this section connected. We've got the chest section connected. Now we're going to bring down the arms and the wing section here. And these are going to tab in. See the little tabs right there? And there's little slots right here on these arm sections. Just got to get those to line up. This is one of the most fiddly figures I have ever messed with. Let me go ahead and swing the arms down, get these out of the way. Let's see if I can get this tabbed in a little better. Right there. Just got to get them lined up just right. So there we go. We've got those chest sections tabbed in. Go ahead and angle the dragon neck accordingly. You want to make sure the little dark red section is right there underneath the throat. With the legs here, you're going to take them and then just open the hips up a little bit more to give him more of a wide stance. Angle the feet. Get these arms turned around. Bring the wings up. And there we have the flame dragon and dragon mode it looks all right i mean it's a bionicle looking version of a dragon but all the same articulation is there for the wings the tail is now very prominent and i wish the tail connected there's no way for this tail to connect it looks like crap right here and very, very loose, but there is lots of articulation. I mean, this thing has a lot of movement. Of course, articulation for the arms and legs are exactly the same. The neck now could look up slightly. It kind of breaks apart here. The head can turn. Of course, the jaw can open and close. The head could look up and down, but it does separate right here where this fist is. I wish there was a way that could connect as well. As I said earlier, you're not going to be playing with this figure. You're going to have it displayed. And of course, the blast effect can work just the same in dragon mode. And actually, it works better, I think, in dragon mode. Of course, well, maybe not. That, there we go. So if you bring it up, nope. It is just way too loose. Of course, you've got Megatron there on all fours. You can bring him up like so so you got him breathing fire down so that looks all right but you know it's it's not bad for what it is i mean only paid 34 dollars for it i wasn't expecting a masterpiece figure but it's all right
And now for some quick size comparisons, here is the Deformation DF-07 Flame Devil with Beast Wars Transmetal 2 Megatron, Kingdom Beast Megatron, and Generation Selects Generation 2 Megatron. The Deformation DF-07 Flame Devil Transmetal 2 Megatron is a cool yet frustrating figure. This guy is so loose, it just drives me nuts when I try to pose him. For example, right here, took me about five minutes just to get this pose. There's gonna to have to be a lot of floor polish added to his joints to help him out. Transformation is frustrating as well. Even though I've transformed this guy multiple times, I still have problems, especially as you saw, with pieces falling off. But, like I said, I wasn't sure what I was going to get for $34. This was kind of expected. So there you go, guys. There is the Deformation DF-07 Flame Devil. So, does the Deformation DF-07 Flame Devil belong in your collection? Well, if you like quirky figures, I'd say go for it. He's neat, yet frustrating. I like the looks of the guy. I like how I can really spread these wings out. He's got such a nice wingspan. He's going to look really good on the shelf if I can get him to stand up. He keeps falling over. He's got really weak joints. So as I said multiple times, I've got my big old bottle of floor polish right here. I think I'm going to give his joints a coating so he'll stand on the shelf and look good. I probably won't transform him anymore because transforming this guy is a pain in the ass. It's just hard to get together, pieces pop off, and I'm so afraid I'm going to lose like his little face. So transformation, maybe if I'm in a secure environment where I know nothing's going to fall off and uh, disappear. But other than that, I mean, for $34.99, why not? I think he looks, he's all right. He's I've had worse. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I also have a Patreon page. And I'm getting so close to my goal of 10,000 subscribers by TFCon in October. Big shout out to all my current subscribers, and a thank you to all my new ones. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!